Hey everyone, getting some more left hand side elevator prep up and running. We get some stiffeners dimpled, deburred, skin up on the DRDT2, dimple that as much as possible, and I'll take care of probably a bunch of it off camera with my uh, wife because it's a lot easier with a second pair of hands. I'm going to be working on the uh, trim tab servo motor mounting bracket. Going to be working on the trim tab servo motor stiffening bracket which is on the back side of the skin. Basically doing as much as I can till uh, some tools show up. So stick around. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments please feel free to leave them. Hope you enjoy it.
awesome. That's what we're looking for, and it should only get easier from here, but we still gotta be careful. Okay guys, I know you're looking at this trim tab spar and you're like, how is he going to dimple these last two holes? I can't take credit for this because I found it online through the Vans Air Force forums and whatnot. Cleveland Aircraft Tools sells a small piece of steel with hardened female insert. It basically looks something like this and this is something I've built on my own. It's just a piece of mild steel that I can either screw down to the bench I just use a clamp it down right now and I've just machine countersunk a number 40 basically female of a dimple just with a little bit of trial and error so then I use my Sue's impact along with male die still all taped up and this guy and this is just a spare Princess Auto Harbor Freight. I think they're a 401 shank air hammer. And I chucked it up in the lathe, just drilled a 3 16 hole. So it looks like this. And there it is. Doesn't really have much play. We don't need much here, guys. All right, well, I'll show you my successes, but I guess you guys got to see my failures, too. So, that didn't really work out as well as I would have liked. I did smear it a little bit. I've had good success with this setup, um, you know, in the past. Uh, especially when I was building the flap kit, I had good success with that. Maybe it's because it was thinner material, or I don't know, but I ended up fixing it with um, my pop rivet die. I figured out what I did wrong. Stupid mistake on my part. I have shop air. It's at 125 PSI. And I run half inch couplers, and I do that so I can run an air gun or anything that requires a high volume of air without any restriction. My airplane building tools though, they don't require a lot of air. So I restrict them down to quarter inch fittings. I have a regulator. I forgot to turn the air pressure down from when I was using the pneumatic squeezer, which uses 90 PSI, and this uses 40 PSI could have been a lot worse. I almost think I'm gonna put a dedicated regulator just on this, which will make it impossible for this to receive any more than 40 PSI. And that's what I'm gonna use for, I think the remainder three holes there. For those who haven't seen this, female on the inside, male on the outside. This is just a standard finishing nail, it's nothing crazy. And we'll just gently apply pressure until we see the two halves come together. 
Here is pretty good for our purposes. Should have started off with that. All right, check it out. We have our elevator trim tab motor, Ray Allen servo, and we've uh, fitted it in our housing here that Van wants us to make up. The 616 PP electronic trim bracket 602 B and L. There's two of them. So I've done all the measurements that Van's wanted me to do. Three eighths from the back edge is this. One and three eighths from this edge to here, and then I basically just bolted this guy up to the servo, got the line spacing, got these things all drilled up. So in my next video, I'm going to be dimpling all this, still waiting for my number six dimple die to come in from Cleveland, and that'll be these guys, these guys. We're getting much closer to priming. I'm trying to get all these little bits ready to go for primer. Because as soon as I have everything primed, then we can get to back riveting stiffeners on the skins and whatnot. My missus was able to give me a hand. I got the skin all dimpled. Everything except the one half of the trim tab spar. So the bottom half of the spar is dimpled. The top half is still awaiting match drilling with the hinge. Here's the spar to go with it. Again, the bottom half is dimpled. The top is not. So, we're getting there. Ready for primer. Ready for primer-ish. These guys are all ready for scuffing and primer. The inside of the skin is ready to be scuffed and primed. So once uh, this guy's all ready, the inside will get scuffed and primed. And then I have my counterbalance ribs and skins to get all uh, deburred and fluted and dimpled up. So lots of work still to do, but we're getting there.